Right then, welcome back. And today we're at Road Atlanta on the GP circuit. So that's the full circuit without the dodgy chicanes. And with 20 minute endurance, we went testing and we managed to do a 119.3, which would have put us 20th on a 2008 ZX10R. I was reasonably happy with that. We are miles off the fastest time, which is daft on a 115.9 but there's plenty of time there's plenty of time to go and have a go at that with the bikes coming up there's the setup um <laughs> middle-ish ground note the front shock absorber and spring hardeners on level five which is a little softer than we normally run it this track doesn't build a massive amount of front tire heat and i also wanted to run a hard because it's dry and I want to keep the option of doing a no stopper in our back pocket. So, race wise, <coughs> excuse me, race wise, quick check to make sure we're on 120 and all the usual jazz. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell fibs. I was nervous, I was very nervous because this track has a habit of throwing up weird things and lo and behold, that's exactly what it did, but it saved it right to the end because the track's an arsehole. But anyway, off the start. Did we get a clean start? Why, yes, of course we did not. Um, there's a little bit of argy-bargy up ahead. We managed to avoid it. Stay out of trouble, hanging about at the back, break into turn one, and we get collected, and off we go. Um, we ended up in 18. Someone else crashed, so that bumped us up to 17. Um, down the back straight we were getting annihilated because I went to eco mode to try and conserve fuel again to give us options on the strategy. The front tyre was already cold so it's not really going very well. Um, the bike was okay, um, it wasn't banging into the limiter in eco mode on standard and power, it was smashing itself with the limiter down the straight and round that really fast right hand bend. What did become obvious very quickly is that we had a pace advantage, especially through the corners. Um, we were getting monstered down the straight, but there's only one long straight, which is about a third of the track. But there are a lot of corners, so discretion was going to be the better part of valour with regards to going up the inside of people. But we had to make a start somewhere. Uh, bear in mind we were 17th, then all of a sudden we were 14th, now we're 13th, because I don't know what's been going on with people falling off. Lap two down the back straight, we finally passed somebody in a straight line into the braking zone and ooh, this bike's a bit naughty on the brakes. Ooh, all the way around the outside, loads of room to spare and it was changing direction nicely as well which with a, a soggy soft front end I was quite surprised. Another pass up the inside, now the rider in front of us, Jade Cooper, the American, they were travelling, they were moving forward at a vast rate of knots, I can only assume that that is a fast AI rider and they are now making up for lost time where they've probably binned it but look at the pace advantage we've got through the twisties yeah massive absolutely massive it was very hard not to get excited and try and stuff it up the inside of everybody at every available opportunity but we didn't we were patient we bided our time not that it made a difference in the end um, but yeah down the straight oh, look at this other one just see you bye 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 bye, bye bye, bye bye, all on. Bye bye, bye bye. Can I have some of your horses, please? Um, into the chicane, selling the AI dummies, faking going around the outside, drag them across to the left hand side of the track. And it rides the bumps really well for a, an endurance bike. She was reasonably good. I did enough for following Jay Cooper. Stuffed it up the inside. Very cold front tyre, very dodgy into that turn, uh, turn seven. It, the track is weird it looks like it's got a positive candle but there's not a massive amount of grip in there we've got to avoid the curb as i didn't in a little while but again down the straight we're getting the draft and we pass is it another zx10 it certainly looked like a zx10 uh, we pass another zx10 we're up to six down the start finish straight another i'm going to put my bike where you don't want it to be and i'm going to pass you up to fifth gap to lead of 4.6 seconds Riders committing suicide in front of us, um, up to third because there was a crashed rider recovering just on the entrance to the pits. 4.5 seconds still the gap to the leader. End of lap eight, and the leader pits, and we crash. Hmm, and that was going to become a common theme on corner exit. 
So to minimise the damage, we dived into the pits. Bear in mind I'm on a hard front medium rear at the minute and the front tyre is just not playing ball. So we changed to a medium front soft rear. What I should have done is gone medium front medium rear and we'll come on to that in a little while. The soft tyre was fantastic out of the corners for a certain period of time and then it just went horribly wrong. Fuel wise we went full tank so we could run full power mode and try and make up for our heinous accident coming out of the chicane. By the time the autopilot decided we were going to rejoin the race and not have a little rest and a cup of tea, we were down in ninth. 39, 40 seconds, 40.2, 40.3, you get the idea. 40 seconds behind Owen Brown, the American in the lead, with only 11% fuel left. So Owen Brown pits, we pass a VFR 750R. Why is that in the 2008 generation bikes? I'm not sure. Another rider run out of fuel, another one's recovering from a crash. So we're up to sixth. We come past the pits um, and we go to fifth. And it's all looking not too bad. 21.7 seconds gap to leader. Although, 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 I'm still not convinced that, that we've got the right tyres on. But the rear tyre, I mean, the grip out of the corners is fantastic, although it does nearly get us into a bit of trouble. So we're up to fourth, 20, still 21.5 seconds gap to leader. End of lap 10, the first two go in. I can't see them, sorry, the first leader go the first leader the leader goes in seconds in thirds in so we go from fourth to first we've got a lovely three second gap to jade right another american they've only got four percent fuel so owen brown is the nearest crocodile and guess what it splits us off we hit the curb it gets a little bit a little bit of a pump in motion on and we're off so we're down to second then jade right runs out of fuel thank you very much very kind of them and we're in the lead, not by very far. A whole gaggle of Americans following us. Um, lap 12, again that curb, look at that, just no suspension control whatsoever. We end up down in third, two, and a, two, well, two minutes 50 left, round the outside of the cat, a dirty, dirty pass. Trying to catch Lara Aniston, yeah, Lara Aniston, soft rear tyre comes out to play again, powers up the outside, up the inside, loads of grip. But look at the colour of the soft tyre. It's not enjoying what we're doing to it. Lap 15, we're out of time into turn one, and it just spits me off. I didn't hit the kerb, I wasn't aggressive on the gas, I didn't get the back suspension floating about, it just decided it was going to fall over, which I thought was quite strange. Um, so we end up in second behind an Italian rider, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Um, and the plan is to get as close as I can down the back straight and then out break them into the chicane, up over the hill, ride the bumps and off into the sunset for tea cakes and medals. It doesn't quite work out like that. Um, back marker, VFR 750, quite slow. The Italian gets a little bit of a draft which just pulls him away from us there. Or oh, them, they, they, he, she, them, they, da. Don't know what's going on is. And we can't quite get past, we're bouncing off the limits, 175 miles an hour, later on the brakes, and the AI, they absolutely called my bluff, look at that, oh my god, I did not expect them to come back, we're off, I spear tackled him with a bike, so we end up down in second, we've got half a second penalty, Owen Brown's gone through for the win, and I've got a corner and a half to pull out a half second gap, and what do I do? I hesitate on the gas for some reason, and the bike doesn't go anywhere, and we finish, dun dun dun, third and I'm not particularly happy about it I'm not overly disappointed it was one of them weird races where the game's just determined to uh, make you not win so I'll take a third after everything that happened and that's your lot um, I hope you enjoyed it if you do leave me a comment like subscribe there's gonna be loads more um, I'm gonna drop the bike setups for a little while they kind of run a little bit dry we're just gonna do endurance races MotoGP and whatever else I'm doing while it's sun and there you go thanks for watching um, you're all legends and heroes and I appreciate every single one of you that spends time watching and commenting and liking all the usual jars and fingers crossed I will see you next time take care, stay safe, peace